Hi friends, it's Valerie. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to this week's What's For Dinner. If you are new here, I would love if you would hit that subscribe button and join my YouTube family. Don't forget to leave a, leave a like or a comment down below. It really does help my channel. I really, really appreciate all of you being here, taking time out of your day to watch my videos. It means so much to me. And today I've got three inspirational meals for you again. One of them is going to be a new favorite of ours. We loved it. There were these, um, like, spicy sweet and spicy uh like sriracha chicken tacos so so amazing there's two sauces in them that they really make the taco like no matter what you do i feel like even if you didn't marinate chicken if you just bought a rotisserie chicken but you added these sauces they're a game changer so yeah let's just uh get to those meals but i hope you all are having a great and safe fourth of july weekend let's just get started this first meal is going to be some buffalo chicken sliders. I'm making my chicken in the Instant Pot and to do that I've added about a cup to a cup and a half of water and I mixed some bouillon with that and I'm adding in about two pounds of chicken breast and I'm going to cook that on high pressure for 10 minutes and I'll do a natural release of five minutes and then quick release the remaining time. You can use whatever method you like to do for your shredded chicken, even if it's rotisserie chicken. And here they are all done. I'm just going to go ahead and shred those up. I'm just using two forks here. Um, you can use a hand mixer, a stand mixer, whatever works best for you. Just go ahead and do that. And I always like to take some of that broth from the bottom of the Instant Pot and add it into the chicken. This will help bring some of that moisture back to it, especially since we are working with chicken breasts, which, you know, can be drier. And now I'm taking this buffalo sauce and I'm just pouring some on anywhere from half a cup, just just to your liking. Of course, I tasted it just saw if I wanted some more. Um, and then I was adding some cheese in there. I had some Mexican uh, blend here, but you can use just like a cheddar or Monterey Jack. This is just what I had up and I wanted to use up. And uh, I didn't even measure. I just kind of poured till it looked good to me. I'm spraying the bottom of a 9 by 13 baking dish and I'm taking these dinner rolls which split in half for me but it's fine and then you're just gonna go ahead and cut down the center and you're gonna make two sheets basically like a top and a bottom side and like I said mine broken half so I've got six here and I'll do the remaining other half and I'm gonna go ahead and top that with some provolone cheese um, you can again sub this for any cheese you want um, mozzarella would be a good um, like option for it and just put to your heart's desire and now we're just gonna go ahead and take that buffalo chicken and put that on top of our cheese layer and just do the best we can to make like a nice even layer of chicken you can add as much or as little as you'd like I was left with a little too much for my liking here so I did save that and I just use it for lunch um, for some like chicken quesadillas is another great option to just have some of this leftover buffalo chicken for I was pretty much just winging this whole recipe because I just had some buffalo sauce I wanted to use and it sounded really good to make some sliders. Um, I did look at a recipe just kind of for like a baking time and I will link that recipe um, and it did give a good baking time as well as some very similar instructions. And I'm going to just drizzle some of this ranch. I like this Marzetti ranch a lot. I'm going to drizzle that on top as well as a, a drizzle of more buffalo sauce. And then I'm just going to go ahead and place the top layer of my bread on top. And you're going to need to go ahead and melt uh, some butter at this point, like about a half a cup's worth. And while that's melting, I'm just sprinkling this dry ranch powder on top of the rolls. Uh, I'd say maybe a couple teaspoons worth and then you're gonna go ahead and pour your melted butter you could base it if you want as well you could even mix the ranch with the butter and base it on top I was just being too lazy for that and so I'm just gonna go ahead and pour that butter right on top I want to make sure to try to hit all those drier spots of ranch making sure that they kind of like melt down into that and I'm going to go ahead and cover it with foil and I'm going to bake this at 350 degrees for 20 minutes. And this is what they look like out of the oven. Nice and golden brown. These were delicious. I served them with some tater tots and I put some blue cheese crumbles and some ranch with my sliders. Um, they were really, really delicious. I was really craving that flavor of like buffalo and this really hit the spot on that. This next meal we're having is my favorite for the week and it is sweet and spicy sriracha chicken tacos. 
we're going to start off by making a marinade for the chicken. So to do that, I'm going to be combining some, some of this sriracha sauce. I'm going to combine three tablespoons of that with about a tablespoon's worth of honey. And then it says a one teaspoon of lime juice. I'm just doing about half a lime. And I also just added some salt to taste, maybe about a quarter teaspoon to a half teaspoon's worth. And I'm taking two chicken breasts that I've placed into this Ziploc bag. And I'm just going to go ahead and pour that marinade over the chicken and just massage it into the chicken. Um, then I decided I kind of wanted them thinner, so I went ahead and pounded them out. You definitely don't have to do this. It's just going to make it quicker to cook, uh, and I wanted them to cook evenly and just quicker at about 5 minutes per side. I let those marinate for about 20 minutes. If you need or want to marinate them longer, just make sure to have them in the refrigerator then. And now I'm taking my skillet over medium high heat. I've spritzed it with a little bit of oil. And I'm just going to go ahead and place my chicken in there. Uh, five minutes. And then after five minutes, I went ahead and flipped that. It's got some nice golden brown color from it's the like the stickiness of the sauce uh, basically burning a bit. Which I kind of like. It gave it that little bit of a grill effect. And then um, while it cooks an additional five minutes on the other side, I am just chopping up some cilantro. A recipe calls for about a tablespoon's worth. I did have more and I used a little more because I do like um, cilantro. And, and now I'm taking a third cup of sour cream and I'm going to go ahead and add that cilantro into it. And then I'm just juicing another half of a lime. It calls for two teaspoons. Again, I didn't measure. I just kind of used half of a lime because I like lime. Then I added in, I think, a quarter to a half teaspoon of salt. And that is so important it really brought the flavor out in this and i realized since i had more cilantro in there and we do love our sauces um i could add a little bit extra sour cream since i was basically adding a little bit more of every other ingredient so might as well get some more sauce out of it and i was not disappointed because this sauce was so delicious and yeah so just go ahead and give that all a good mix to combine all those ingredients and now i'm chopping up um, some green onions. It calls for a quarter cup of green onions. These are just your toppings. So um, it also calls for some lettuce. I just had a salad bag, so I'm just kind of cutting that up a bit. I'm going to make one of these rice sides because I didn't feel like making any Spanish rice. I'm just using the chicken flavor. And you'll need some crunchy shells. And I'm just using this Taco Bell ones I had. If you have wider ones, it will be a lot better. And I'm just putting those in the oven according to their directions. And now to this small little dish, we're making another sauce by combining uh, one tablespoon of sriracha and it says half a tablespoon of honey, but I did do a tablespoon of each of those two things and a little bit of lime juice, which it didn't call for. And now that my chicken is done, I'm just going to go ahead and slice that into some thin small pieces. You want them to be pretty bite sized since you're trying to fit them into your taco and um it looks so pretty I, I love all the color that uh, this chicken had and the flavor as well and then i am cutting up an avocado as another topping i saw this thing where you just push the back and that the pit will come out and it totally did so that was exciting and now just assemble that however you want it but do not miss out on this sauce that both these sauces really make this taco and they left me and my boyfriend wanting more like they were just amazing like I can't even describe how much flavor they had they are good, definitely a new favorite of ours and just serve those simply with that rice and they were huge huge hit with us and even if you think they're going to be too hot for you just don't worry that creamy sauce will really balance it out this last meal is going to be mostly focusing on this side dish which is loaded potato salad to start off, you're going to need about three pounds of potatoes cubed. I'm using russets just because I have a lot and I wanted to use them up, but the recipe does call for using red potatoes and yellow potatoes would also work really good with this. I'm doing mine in the instant pot for four minutes and with the quick release of the pressure, but you can definitely boil them just like the recipe calls for. I just find that the instant pot is super easy. You don't have to worry. I put about a cup and a half of water on the bottom with the um, steamer basket and just place them in there it was really easy and now to a bowl i'm gonna go ahead and combine eight ounces of sour cream with a half a cup of mayonnaise and you'll need a packet of ranch dressing i'm just using two tablespoons which is the equivalent of a ranch packet and just go ahead and mix that all together 
And once your potatoes have cooled, you're just going to go ahead and add those in to this dressing mixture. And I just went ahead and tossed that all together to get those potatoes nice and coated. Now at this point, I'm just like, I don't like all these chunks of actual potatoes. Like I am, I'm looking for the flavor of a, like a baked potato, but I am wanting more of that like potato salad where it's less big cubes and a little bit more mashed so I'm using my potato masher to go ahead and do that you can do whatever you want on that whole situation I just prefer it this way and now I'm adding in some cheddar cheese about a cup and a half's worth maybe a little more because I do love me some sharp cheddar cheese and then I'm just cutting about three green onions probably actually a little bit more than that as well again I love green onions and I even added more later on and I'm just using my uh, kitchen shears to go ahead and cut those and just mixing that all together the recipe didn't call for any salt and pepper but uh, I definitely had to add some and I'm very glad I did it definitely needs it um, so again just do that to taste and I also felt like it needed more dressing uh, for my three pounds of potatoes I don't know if it's because I use russets but I don't I don't know but either way I added a little bit extra mayonnaise so just taste it add extra things that you see fit and then I went ahead and just uh, cooked up the six pieces of bacon and just chopped those up put them on top again with a little bit extra green onions really brings out that fresh flavor in it and uh, just let this chill we were gonna be barbecuing this day it's like the day before 4th of July and uh, we threw some corn on the grill we just leave it in the husks and uh, let them cook for about five minutes on each side about 20 minutes total just turning them every five minutes uh, we're not doing anything fancy we're just cooking up some hot links and some Polish sausages and I just got these hot links the other day there are the farmer John ones but not they're not the big full farmer John ones they're smaller and I thought that was really cool that they're more of like a hot dog size versus the very large links so Yep, just grilling those out on my Camp Chef grill here, which I really, really love. If you're ever looking for a kind of portable grill or you go camping, love our Camp Chef. And uh, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and take this food back upstairs and eat that with our yummy potato salad and the corn. And I cut up some of that cantaloupe there that you see. And this was a nice just summer meal. I didn't do anything fancy on those hot links, just put some mustard, and it was all delicious. That potato salad is so, so, so good. Um, really loving the whole uh, loaded part of that with the cheese and the bacon. Bacon makes everything better, and so does cheese. Thanks so much for watching, friends. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that little bell so you don't miss out on any future What's for Dinner videos, and I hope you all are having a great day.